Okay, we're going to solve this initial FOIA problem by using the Laplace transform. So let's go ahead and take the Laplace right here, right? And this is the original Laplace transform. So here we go. We first have the second derivative, and you have to remember that this is going to give us s squared, and then we will have y of s, right? And this is supposed to be a capital Y, but anyway. And then we continue. It will be minus and then s times y0, right? which is equal to negative 1. So let me just put down negative 1 right here. And once again, this is just y of 0. And then we will minus y prime of 0, which is 6. So let me put down 6 right here. This is y prime of 0. This right here represents the y double prime, right, after you do the Laplace transform. And then let me indicate this right here for you guys in blue. And yeah, let me put down plus 6, and then I will open a parentheses. For y prime, we will end up with what? S times, let me just write it down with S times y of S, and then minus, let me just write it down, minus y of 0, which is negative 1. So let me just indicate this right here is negative 1. Like this, this is y of 0, right? So the blue portion is for the middle term right here. At the end, we have plus 9y, so we have plus 9, and then once you do the Laplace transform of y, you get y of s, like this. And we are lucky because the right-hand side is just 0, so we just have 0 right here. So far, so good. And now, the usual deal is that we have to get all the ys, right, and then collect like terms. And we want to isolate the ys on the left-hand side, and then put everything right here on the right-hand side. So, Perhaps, let me just do one more step. Let me just clean things up to make it easier to understand and follow. This is s squared, and then we multiply by y of s, and then this and that becomes plus s, and then this is minus 6, and here I will have to distribute, distribute, right? So this is 6 times that, so it's plus 6 s, and then y of s. And then 6 times that, this is negative, negative, become positive, so plus 6. And then this is plus 9 times y of s. And you see, all my s are in red. There's no 5, right? And now, let's see what do we have. Here we have the y of s, and then here we also have the y of s, and here we also have the y of s. We will put them together, and we'll factor out the y of s, right? So as we can see, we have here is s squared, and then this is plus 6s, and then plus 9, plus 9 right here, right? And then we multiply by y of s right here. And we bring everything else to the right-hand side. And notice that the minus 6 plus 6, they cancel each other out, which is excellent. I will just have to bring the s to the right-hand side. So it becomes negative s like that. And at the end, you will see we will have y of s, which is equal to, this is negative s on the top, over this, which is parentheses s squared plus 6s plus 9. That's it, right? And to get back to the t world, we have to do the inverse Laplace, and let's do so on both sides. So. On the right-hand side, we'll get y of t, and that's a solution to this initial FOIA problem. And now, here's the deal. How are we going to get the, uh, this right here, right? The inverse Laplace of that. And perhaps, let me not use the parentheses right here. Let me just write it down. That's how it is. Well, notice that on the denominator, we have what? This is s plus 3 squared, right? We can factor it out. So let me indicate that right here. This is just s plus 3 squared. Well, unfortunately, on the top, we have a negative s. So this is not real quick right away. But we can still do it um, with a reasonable amount of work. Let me show you. So uh, the, right hand, uh, the left hand side is just going to be y of t. And this is the solution to the initial value problem. And let me bring the negative to the front. So we have the negative right here. And right here, let me just write it down as the inverse Laplace. On the top, we still have s. On the bottom, we have this, s plus 3, and then square. And now, you have choice. 
you can do partial fraction the good old fashioned way or I can just go ahead and plus 3 to this because I can match this and that and you can cancel things out that's really nice however after you plus 3 be sure you minus 3 as well and don't forget you still have this negative all the way in the front all right and now let me just continue by doing stuff so for you guys negative all the way in the front and then the first thing is just going to be let's look at the inverse dot plus we have s plus 3 over s plus 3 squared so that will be just 1 over s plus 3 to the first power all right and i'll close this right here and for the second one we will have i put on the negative order for the front already so technically it will be plus but this is negative 3 I would like to take that to the front, so we have negative 3 right here. And then we have the inverse dot plus. On the bottom, it stays the same. S minus uh, S plus 3 like this, square. And we can put on 1 on the top. Okay, this is what we have at the moment. We can totally take up this. And how about this right here? We should also be able to do so as well, right? So let me just write it down right here for you guys y of t it is going to be first of all perhaps let me just distribute the negative into the parentheses for you guys so we will have negative and for this right here we know it's going to be what e to the negative 3t because this is 1 over s minus negative 3 right so e to the negative 3t like that that's it and then negative times negative becomes positive and then if you would like you can have the 3 right here Let's put that down, right? Well, how can we take up this? Look at the 2 as, two plus, uh, as 1 plus 1, right? So, um, I'll put this down in blue on the side. For that one, the inverse dot plus of that, which is 1 over s plus 3. Look at that, 1 plus 1. And you know, this one will tell you the n value, and you know this is going to be t to the first power, right? But this is being shifted in the S world, so you have to multiply by e to the negative 3t, like that, right? Anyway, this is the answer for this part. I just have to put this down right here. So plus 3, let's put on the t first, t to the first power, and then e to the negative 3t. That's it. This right here is the answer to that initial value problem. This one is not bad at all.